Hey there, Chasey. You want a job? Sure. As long as it doesn't involve riding animals around. Uh, then I got bad news, because it kind of does. Really? What is it? It's someone I know wants the giant robot Tyrannosaurus Rex stolen from the museum. A Tyrannosaurus? Rex? Who, uh, would want that? My private buyer. But trust me, he's nobody you'd want to meet. He's starting to be a real c Yeah, I shouldn't say. Just give me a call once you got it out of the museum. Sure thing, Vinny. Ellie, I think I've got a lead on the Fury case. In Bluebell National Park? Uh, no. Vinny called me about a job at the museum. I've got to steal a robotic Tyrannosaurus Rex. Okay. If my uncle calls to find out where you are, I'll square it with him. Thanks. And maybe don't tell the chief just yet? Sure. Farmer Hayes? Ah, perfect. You ain't seen any of my pigs, have you? The ones I just rounded up. Uh, yeah. I turned my back and they hoofed it again. They'll be all over Lego City by now. If you could just keep an eye out, I would be indebted to you. No hurry or anything. Yes, Mr. Hayes. Great. And if you do find one, just pop them back in the nearest pig cannon, and they'll be fired right back here. Okay. I'm at the museum, but I don't see a way in. Yeah, I checked the blueprints. The only way in is from the rooftop, but there's no way to climb up there. It's okay. I've got an idea. Are there any taller buildings around here which can be climbed? Maybe the art gallery. Why? I just got hold of a chicken. I can use it to glide from the art gallery's roof to the museum's. Wow, that is not a sentence I thought I'd hear today. Good luck, Chase. Where am I?
worry about this job, Chase. Consider a payback for how much the gift shop charged for that dinosaur pen when you were 11. Feathers. Four letters. Hmm. Hmm. Down? No, across. I just called Sheriff Huckleberry, and he told me that he hasn't seen you in hours. Where are you? A lead came up, Chief, and I think it points straight to Rex. So, not only have you ignored my orders, you're probably about to take something expensive again. Are you sure this is connected with Fury? Yes. Vinny's asked me to get the museum's robotic Tyrannosaurus Rex for someone. It can't just be a coincidence. That does sound like Fury's style. 
All right, I'll let you follow this one, McCain. But if it doesn't lead to fury, then that T-Rex won't be the only extinct thing around here. This car holds the world speed record. When it was being flown from the factory, it fell out the back of the plane, reaching a terminal velocity of 500 miles an hour. I almost got ran over in a museum. Well, it was the fastest car. Now it's broken. This is the largest known silver Lego ingot to ever be found in the Bluebell Mine, discovered by Silas Fletcher when it fell on top of him. It was kindly donated to the museum by his next of kin. This steam locomotive was unveiled at the opening of Lego City's very first train station. It wasn't used until two years later when a second station was finally built. This is the historic Lego City Tram, which was sold by con artist Tricky Jimmy to no less than 12 separate customers, all of whom neglected to notice that their receipts clearly stated, carriage is not included.
This oil derrick is over a hundred years old. Oil derricks are named after their inventor, John Oil. This pirate ship was painstakingly reconstructed from 843 pieces dredged up from the bottom of the ocean. There were quite a lot of bits left over, so it probably wasn't a pirate ship before. The dinosaur exhibit? Great. T-Rex is bound to be in there. Professor Patrick Palmer was the founder of Apollo Island. A scientist since he was eight, it took him many years to be taken seriously as his pointy hair and maniacal laugh led everyone to believe he was either mad, evil, or both. Hmm, do I have enough bricks for that super build? I think I might. Once thought to be an exciting new building material, as strong as normal rock, but six times lighter until someone pointed out they'd been weighing them on the moon.
Well, that certainly isn't a T-Rex. One of the best-known facts about pterodactyls is that they have a silent pee, which they use to blind their prey before attacking. That isn't a T-Rex either. This mighty dinosaur has a series of blade-like bones running along its back. Some scientists think it may have been used as a tool by bigger dinosaurs to cut bread. <laughs> This mighty dinosaur has a series of blade-like bones running along its back. Some scientists think it may have been used as a tool by bigger dinosaurs to cut bread. You can't get in here. Can I smell burning? Where is the T-Rex? If I ran this place, it'd be right in the middle, being all Rawr! Either because it was preyed upon by other dinosaurs, or because it was really clumsy. <laughs> This dinosaur evolved extensive armor plating on its head, either because it was preyed upon by other dinosaurs or because it was really clumsy. Although this peaceful dinosaur had a vegetarian diet, it was deadlier than a Tyrannosaurus rex, as its massive size meant it would often accidentally squash smaller dinosaurs. And I've got enough bricks to build that T-Rex now. These rare totems have been designed to spin around at great speed, mimicking the tribal dance of the people who built them. However, they are unable to mimic the latter stages of the dance where the participants fall over and moan about feeling ill. I found a lot of super bricks. Hmm, maybe there's something I can build around here. Hey, I can use them to build a T-Rex. That is lucky.
Coming soon, an exciting diorama showing what scientists believe our future will look like. Pending completion until we receive the model monkeys on horseback. This Sphinx is an exact copy of the one found near the pyramids, except with some of the missing details restored. When we ask museum visitors to vote on whether ours was better than the original, it won by a nose. I hope this mummy's tomb isn't cursed. Coming soon, an exciting diorama showing the many uses of hay. <laughs> This diorama depicts Robin Hood's less popular cousin, Robin Hoodlum. While he also stole from the rich, he never really got around to giving to the poor, probably because he was too busy stealing from... This diorama depicts two cavemen inventing fire and the wheel. Due to complaints of inaccuracy, we have removed the third caveman, previously shown inventing the laptop computer. Tyrannosaurus Rex was one of the largest carnivores to ever live until the birth of my Uncle Dave, who can put away a meal like nobody's business. Oh, that's a nice <laughs> 